Hi guys, Sarah here from Highland Haven Australian Shepherds and this is episode 12 of my dog breeding video series. So Meadow is seven weeks today. Uh, that means uh, she should have her puppies in under two weeks. Um, technically she's due two weeks from today, but as I've said in previous videos, usually a few days prior is when my females will have their puppies. So uh, sometime in the next two weeks. So what I did this morning was I set up her whelping box and um, all of the stations I need to deliver puppies safely. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so let's start with the whelping box. So I set hers up today. I did put a time-lapse video. Um, I uploaded as well today if you guys wanna see how this goes together. I did build this myself. I'm no master carpenter, so if I can do it, anybody can do it. Uh, just a word of caution though, guys. Um, you there are online sites where you can get uh you know ready-made whelping boxes that are very reasonably priced it cost me as much to get the supplies the the material for this that it, as it would if i had purchased it through um, a supplier like easy whelp um, easy whelp i have another box by them that's terrific it's usually made of uh, lightweight fabric or corrugated cardboard they're easy to put together they're easy to clean and move around because they're so lightweight Mine has done terrific, but I wanted something a little bit more custom, so I made this box last year. Um, it's a bit bigger because Meadow is bigger than Remedy, and uh, I need a little bit more room inside. I believe this is 48 by 48. You can see what I have in there right now, printless newspaper. This is essential, uh, printless newspaper. You'll go through tons and tons of this. Uh, this is gonna be the bottom layer. Um, I will put towels and blankets while she's actually whelping um, because she likes to scratch around, but basically you're going to be doing a lot of cleanup. So you're gonna, be, you know, there's a lot of fluid involved in uh, puppy birth, in whelping. So you definitely want an absorbent disposable layer and that's what this will uh, act as. I have these little seats on the side here. Um, if you're gonna make your whelping box, just be aware that uh, you're gonna probably wanna remove these. These are easy to come out. They just come out like that. Okay, and I can put them back on, super easy. Um, when I am in the box with her, while she is uh, having her puppies, I'm gonna want as much room as possible. So these side seats will be out. You can see what's in here, this rail on the inside. That's called a pig rail. And that helps to prevent a mother dog from squishing a puppy against the side of the whelping box. Again, one of those things that you definitely want um, when you're designing your whelping box. This is very simple to make. This is just PVC pipe. Um, it's about mm, four or five inches high. Uh, you're gonna adjust that based on the breed of your dog and the size of your dog. But this way for the first uh, week or two, uh, we'll keep this in there and this will help prevent Meadow from laying on any of her puppies and squishing them and suffocating them against the side of the box. Next to the box here, I have my weighing station. Uh, I have my puppy records already. We'll talk about this at a later date, but this will record when the puppies are born and how much they weigh, etc. cetera. Uh, I have my scale uh, for the puppies. Uh, I invested in you know, a real scale. It's actually an infant scale. Um, you weigh puppies a lot their first uh, couple weeks of their life. You're gonna weigh them for eight weeks, but those first two weeks are really important. And this, it's important to have a really good scale, something that you definitely want to invest in if you're gonna be doing this. Uh, and then over here, I have, let me move the seat. I have what's called, what I call uh, my uh, warming station. You can see I have my uh, heat lamp. It's low right now, it won't be this low when we have the puppies. This way, when she's giving birth here, uh, once the puppies, um, are cleaned and dried, <coughs> excuse me, uh, and she's having her next puppy, we're gonna put the puppies that are already born in here um, so they stay warm and dry so she can concentrate on having her next puppy and not squishing the puppies that are in the box. And we'll talk about that at a future date. Uh, so that is it for today, guys. It's pretty exciting. Uh, I think less than two weeks we're gonna be using this box. And um, we'll have some hopefully happy, healthy puppies and a happy, healthy mama. Uh, if you guys are enjoying the series, please like, follow, comment, share, all that good stuff. I will see you next, next episode. Take care, guys. Bye.